war. Reform Zurich is fighting against the Catholics of central Switzerland. In the thick of things is Ulbricht Zwingli, pastor of the Grossminster in Zurich. The new reformed faith should be allowed to spread to all parts of Switzerland. But Zurich loses the religious war and its reformer Huldrich Zwingli. Seven years later, Heinrich Bullinger is preaching in Zurich. Zwingli's children, Regula, Uli and Wilhelm, are attending church at the Grossmünster. Our father was a much more engaging preacher than Bullinger. Really? How? He told it like it was. Father wanted to renew society. He wanted to reform it. He was clear about what he didn't like. The bishops and the Pope are robbing you blind with expensive pilgrimages and indulgences. Our young men go to war for foreign rulers. And the rich make a fortune out of this bloody business. We must forbid the use of mercenaries. For Christ is not a robber. He does not wage war. He does not kill. Huh? Yeah! Yeah! Eh, what's that? Father was against war. Why did he die fighting in one day? That's enough! Be quiet now! Troublemakers! These darn swinglies! These darn swinglies! These darn swinglies! <laughs> Children, have you flown the coop again? <laughs> this makes me think of your late father Huldrich. Thanks to him, things really changed around here. He wanted to reform the church. I tell you, times have changed. If everyone speaks German, why are sermons still in Latin? And all these altars and images of saints? The Bible is all we need for a decent church service. And now, let us reach the Grossminster Church of all these superfluous saints! Yeah! Yeah! Ah, excellent. Now there's finally enough room for the word of God. Those were the days. But Zwingli had even more good ideas. He translated the Bible into German, and he made sure that children from poor families could go to school. Zwingli even founded a school for pastors. <laughs> a school for pastors? Yes, education was very important to your father. I'm sure you're all very hardworking students. Uh, we should get going, right? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. Goodbye. Okay. Now, let's get back to work. Oh. Mm. Huh? Look, who's Hello, here? Mother. You're back already. Um, Today's sermon mm. was um, a bit... Um, a bit shorter. Mm -hmm. Fine. Then go get me a chicken from the market. Fresh eggs! Fresh chicken eggs! Fresh chicken eggs! Fresh from the oven! <laughs> well, well. The Zwingle is now in tasty chicken instead of sausage. <laughs> <laughs> well done, sausage eaters. See you at school. Sausage eaters? Yeah. He's referring to our father. In the past, people had to fast before Easter. A whole 40 days. But people with enough money could buy their way out of it. Father was invited to dinner during Lent. Huh? Sausage. Despite the church's prohibition, it was a scandal. Scandalous! Down with the Pope! If you want to fast, then do so! If you want to eat meat, then do so! But let me choose freely as a Christian! Yeah! And 
that's how fasting was abolished in Zurich. Oh, now I'm hungry. Here you are. <laughs> oh, oh. We can't go any further. What? Why not? Because of this woman. I think we need to tell you more about our father. Some of father's followers wanted to do everything just like the first Christians did. They celebrated religious services at home without the pastor. They baptized adults and were thus called Anabaptists. Hey, but baptizing adults is strictly forbidden, isn't it? The Anabaptists didn't adhere to the prohibition. The city council discussed the matter. The Anabaptists do what they want. Ay, 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 ay. We can't allow they that. They will definitely plunge the city into chaos. And ultimately impose the harshest penalty. <laughs> the death sentence for the leader of the Anabaptists, Felix Lanz. <laughs> And that woman over there is Felix Manzi's mother. Come on, let's forget about these old stories. Hey, but it's so mean. Felix Manz did not do anything bad. Father, bless this fruit, strength to us and praise to you. Amen. Mother, hmm? why didn't Father save the Anabaptist Felix Mons? Children, the Anabaptists undermined public order. People can just do whatever they want. Your father had such big plans. He was afraid the uh. Anabaptists would destroy them all. Uh. Uh. Now, your father was a strong-willed man. Uh. After Zurich, he planned to reform all of Switzerland. The Reformation must go on. Onward to central Switzerland. This led to war, and it was your father's doom. <gasps> oh, time for school. Bye, Mother. Bye bye. See you. Oh. oh, it stinks here. <laughs> Put on a clean shirt, you tramp. Shut up! Conrad can't help it if he's poor. Oh, the Zwingli's <laughs> savers of the poor. <laughs> <laughs> if you keep this up, you'll die in disgrace, just like your father. <laughs> no grave. Your ashes scattered to the winds. Watch out, you. Yeah. You know what? Your father may have a beautiful grave, but our father and his friends translated the whole Bible into German. <laughs> Beat that. Thanks to our father, even poor children like Conrad can go to school. <laughs> the be. only thing you'll be remembered for is that stupid test. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> That's enough! Zwingli children, leave the classroom! Yes, Master. These darn Zwinglis. Ha, 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 ha,